over 10 years ago, uh, a large study was done uh, in collaboration with the Agricultural Health Study at the National Cancer Institute outside Washington, D.C., uh, and researchers within the National Cancer Institute Intramural Program. Uh, that study showed that uh, people that work in farms that are applying pesticides on the farms have a higher rate of monoclonal endomopathy. Very recently, a large expanded study based on a prospective collection of blood samples from a large cohort of individuals within the agricultural health uh, study was uh, published. And this study showed that those individuals that uh, do apply pesticides, they have about a twofold higher risk of developing homoclonal gemopathy. Uh, there are some of these pesticides uh, that are used also in, in regular private homes in the backyard to get rid of weeds that also uh, were evaluated as part of this study. And there are indications that some of these pesticides are associated with this excess risk of monoclonal gammopathy. Looking through the U.S. incidence of multiple myeloma uh, from the East Coast to the West Coast, um, it's actually quite striking to see that the uh, incidence of myeloma is much higher in the Midwest. The lowest incidence is on the East Coast and in California on the West Coast. In the middle, uh, it's up to 50% more uh, incidence of myeloma uh, here in the United States. We know that uh, there are a lot of farms in the middle of the country. There are probably a lot of other factors as well that we don't know really how, how that works. But I think this is clearly a funding that needs uh, further attention. We need to do more research to try to understand how this works.